Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. Well, today is day number 14, and it says Lynn from Sparkle Creations Art. So um, I'm so thankful and blessed that I was asked to participate in the Junk Journal Tips, Tricks, and Hacks hosted by Rachel Bella Crafts. And I'll put a link below, a playlist of all the other subscribers. And um, there's going to be um, giveaways. So you need to watch each of the videos in that playlist, subscribe and comment and like the videos. And then you'll go into a drawing. And there's lots of lovely prizes. So without further ado, we're going to be doing um, tips and tricks using wax. Seals. So I'm going to show you a typical setup of what I use. I use some wax beads. I have a heating furnace. I use um, tea light candles. I use a marble stone to pour, but I'm going to show you some tips on which you can use at home. You need a spoon to put your beads in to heat and melt. Uh, you need a stirrer. This is a turkey, turkey skewer that I use. You can use metallic pens for coloring. We'll go over that later. You need a lighter. Um, in addition to beads, you can use these um, uh, colored glue sticks. Not my favorite, but I'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. And my uh, favorite tip is to have an ice pack here and just to put your um, seals on here. That keeps them cold so that when you apply them, they stick really well. Okay, so while that's heating, I'm just going to put some um, bees in because they take a while. And I usually put three or four of these, depending on the size of your seal. Now, um... I often have another spoon ready to go because um, I just back to back, okay? So I try to think ahead. So let's um, fill this one and um, we'll put some of this green and maybe a white for a marble effect. But while that's heating, I want to show you what you can do if you don't have um, a heating furnace like this, which is taking a while because my candle is going out. Let me put a different candle in. Let's put a different candle in. And I'm sitting under a fan, so sometimes my light goes out. So while well, that's heating, if you didn't have this set up, all you need is a piece of parchment paper from the kitchen, a candle, this works just fine, Oops. and a, a dedicated spoon that you could use that will sit right there, okay? so. Um, Sometimes you have to hold it. We'll put these in here for just for, and we'll let them start melting. In addition to that, uh, if you don't have, um, I just like the turkey skewer because it's long. Uh, I also have an old dental pick that'll work. And if you don't have that, uh, and you have a large paper clip, that'll work wonderful. So we're going to let these carefully um, just melt and keep an eye on them, okay? It'll, it, it does take a little bit of time, so be patient. But I'm going to show you some of the seals, what I've done with them, okay? So like this, I put seals directly on my journals or on my pages. I have um, put them on uh, paper sacks. When you're mailing something, and you do a seal, you need to seal it right onto the envelope, okay, to close it. If you don't want it to be a permanent closure, like on my gift bag here, I have some um, 
pop pop dots that I put under here and they're sticky and they'll just you can re, you can lift them okay so if you're going in the mail they have to go directly on the envelope and I have um, sent things through the mail with big packages with these on and I've not heard any complaints the Postal Service never said anything when I gave them the package so these you can do the stickers so they're removable so this seal was made the sticker was placed on it, or you can use three in one beacon glue too. So you can do that. Another thing I like to do with them is when they're all assembled, is to make some dangle charms. You can just punch holes directly with your micro punch, they punch right through these um, very nicely. You could put, um, there's your hole. You could put um, chains, a chain through it, like a keychain. These are going to go in journals. I got a B for Banky, Sparkle Banky, but I should have got an L or an S. I didn't know when you get a, um, initial, you should use your first initial. Um, this is another one, just a dangle. Here's um, one applied to a flower. Oops, this one's getting ready, so I need to watch it. Let's stir this up a little bit. Yeah, the this is a better base for fire. Okay, it's, I still want it to get a little softer, I think. You don't want it to bubble, because if it bubbles, it's spoiled. And you don't want that. So I might have to hold it. So you can poke holes in them. This, um, there was a flower on a piece of book page. And then I stamped right on top of the flower. This, I stamped right onto a book page. This um, was on a card. I put a sticker down and I just used a clear, clear one on top. This is with a crayon, okay? So I'll show you those, um, how we do some of them. I have a couple other things we're going to make online here. So once this is um, to the consistency that you desire, it needs to be soft. And this is like a marble effect. It's got the green and the white. You also want to have either old baby wipes or a paper towel nearby. I have a silicone spatula here that I'm going to use. Perfect. And it, to clean your spoon right away, if you take your, um, it's hot, be careful, your um, baby wipe or your paper towel and get the wax out, you're good to go. That was with the candle. Now you take one of these off of the ice pack and you just, um, I just dry it off. And if there's a center or if you're positioning it, make sure you've got the, the front facing you. Okay, and then you just sit that for a minute. This one is still drying, uh, still melting, and it takes longer um, with the furnace. But usually I'm, like I said, I'm mass producing, so I have a couple things going at once. So I'm going to put four. Yeah, so to get a marble effect, you you can put um, three of a primary color and then an accent color. Where are my... Oops. My goodness. So those are gold, and we'll just put a... Um, let's put a black one in there. Yeah, uh, you could use a soup can. You could put a soup can here and melt. Let's see if I can crop something under here to hold that up. Well, so 
so it keep it level. So then you just take this off. On the parchment, it usually comes off on here, and you just peel it off. Beautiful heart. Now, to, it depends how much pressure you put on it and how much um, wax you have, how much your ridge will be. Pop this back on the ice pack for the next one. They also have a blank one that you can purchase, and I use this when I'm using the clear beads with something in them, like you could put um, litter or something like that. Okay, that's melting nicely over here. I need to clean the previous, previous wax off of this. Oops, my candle went out. That's what happens when you're in the desert and you um, work under a fan. No worries. I don't think this is done. Let's check. Okay, so I just mixed the black and the... Um, I will try it on my marble. I love watching the wax go onto the medium there. Okay, so get clean off your wax right away. It comes right off. And I think our pink is ready. I don't want to contaminate my colors. Well, this one still has a little bit to go. Okay, so that's ready. So we're going to take, um, oops, I waited a little long on that one. So we'll see what happens. You can start pulling. Okay, so that one, um, I should have had a, a bigger wax base, okay? But it'll come up. It comes right off of this. Now, if you if you absolutely didn't love it, you can put it back and remelt it. Okay, so this one's ready. So we'll just pour. You don't want it to bubble, like I said, because then it's burned. I don't normally use a scraper. I'm not. Um, I'm not getting a good melt on those. So let's. Let's get pink back in there. Okay, so yeah, the longer, the more wax you have, the bigger your seals will be. Now, if I was going to use these on something, I could take metallic pen and you just color it and it'll pick up. See, it picks up the raised part, okay? And um, gel pens also work. Let's see if I have a silver one, maybe. If it's not dried out. Oops. My ink melted, but this is ready, so let's give a pour. 
I mean, my candle went out. It's a great way to use up your dried out baby wipes. Try um, the flower one. See, the more um, wax you have, the bigger your uh, rims will be around the side. mount some of these okay I don't like personally don't like putting these in my glue stick in my glue gun because um, I I don't have the right you have to use a low medium and they don't always work right so we're going to um, just cut this with a um, cutter or you can use scissors, but they do fly across the room. And this is a different medium. This is glue, okay? take this one off oh that's pretty so again however much wax you have we'll just show you how much you have there another fun thing I did was um, make some paper clips and all you journalers will like that so you just take your um, take your paper clips and I put the top up there okay let's um, Nothing's ready yet to, to pour, so yeah, you can um, put them on gift packages. You can um, wrap twine. We'll do that one. You can wrap twine around a box. Melting. We, I think we're going to need a little bit more in there. We'll stick a couple gold ones in there. Okay. Um, you can take your jelly pens and just the um, the reverse, the the objects that's sticking up, like the butterfly in this case. You can color him, and, it, and it'll it'll stay nicely. Sometimes I make a bunch, and then I just let them sit. And then when I'm working on a project, you can pick one and, and color to match your project. So these have color on them. This one now because it's dark. All right, let's check our um, our melts. No, nope, not quite yet. But again, to get the marble effect, you put um, usually like three of one color, and then you can put one of a white or an accent color. Okay, this has got the 
the glue stick and okay let's um do a pour on our so this i just poured it right onto here And just keep holding that down and let's um, do the bug let's, um, let's do another one here we got a pink one here yeah this is thicker because I'm not letting it melt long enough okay but that's okay okay then just carefully carefully remove it okay this was with um the glue stick and some gold um, bead, wax beads. Okay, and I see my paper clip came through a little bit, but that's okay. And this is just with the pink beads, and that came out cute too. So once these dry, you can, um, again, I would maybe do white on this, and, um, but let's see what color we can put in there with that. Let's do a darker brown. And um, let's throw a couple red ones in here. So there's a paper clip. Um, this is a, oh, we're going to do our box. That's right. We're going to do our box. So when you're pouring on a box or on a napkin or something of that sort, I would take a piece of the um, parchment paper and fold it up a little bit and slip it underneath so that you don't adhere to your package. Okay, so um, this one is almost done. Ouch, ouch. Note to self. So that's not really a good example on this here package, but it's okay. So you just put it right over your rope or your ribbon or your string or whatever you're using. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, a box of chocolates, this would be cute. Chocolate. Just do a butterfly. Let's put this over here. This seems to be the happening place today. Mm. No, that's not long enough. So we'll just leave it there. Okay, so let's check this. Still a little tacky, so let's leave it for a second. Um, this is another medium you can get. Um, these are called wax sticks. 
They're a stick and they have a wick. There are some without wicks. We'll, we'll do something with that next. Okay, so gently pry it off. Oh, isn't that pretty? And then gently pull your paper out. And then your, you know, your package. This isn't stuck to your package. They can slide it off. That looks cute. Um, you could do the same thing with the napkin. Say you had a dinner napkin. And um, you can take a piece of um, ribbon. Let me just cut a piece here. Or lace or trim. And um, we'll put this one on there when it's melted. So you just get this set up how you want it. And put your parchment paper inside, and then you'll pour right on here, and it won't stick. So we'll save that for this. Um, okay, for this, let's make another one while we're waiting. Um, let's do some blue. Let's do some blue. And then... We'll add a white. I like the mixed colors. Okay, so for these, these are a little trickier. Um, okay, they will get sooty, you know, the black soot. You can get these without the wax tips as well. So you just have to... Um, be patient. Oh, my candle. Nah. I don't want to turn off my fan because I get hot. My cheek one is. I've got a different wick on. Okay, you just let it burn down. Oh, we can do that one on here. That would look okay on here. And once it hits the wick and you turn it, it'll start dropping. I'll try to raise it up a little bit so you'll see the droppings. So these these work nice on envelopes because you can position them where you want it. I don't know if you can see the drops. Okay, so I want to I want to get it pretty big. It's cold. Yes, it's very forgiving and it's very um, fun to just watch the wax. I enjoy watching the wax melt. Now, I mean, I'm really multitasking, so I've got to keep an eye on those uh, melting ones. Yeah, so this takes a, a little longer, but I've only tried it on envelopes, so. So I try not to get the, any black on it. Okay, we're going to call it a day with that. And take one of these. Um, we got a butterfly here. And again, give it a few minutes, you'll know. Let's see, that was still wet. This one is probably ready. Oh. I'm just going to have to pour it here because I don't have my um, medium ready, what I was going to do. Looking for my 
spatula. This is kid friendly, but you've got to really watch the heat because those things do get hot. Okay, here's just a plain one. So, um, say I wanted to put some glitter. I only have purple glitter here. They're not glitter, these are stars. But say I wanted to um, put a few glitter or stars or something. And then I would use, um, you could use one of the, with a pattern, but say you wanted to just use a clear one. Okay, this should be done now. So, um, you get the gist. Take your paper out. And this can go on a napkin. Okay, I didn't have enough um, glue. Let's try it on this side with the pink one. Not glue, wax. I'm sorry. this back in here. See then if you use the plain one you can cut that off. You can um you know see things like if you did a design or something. So um okay this will be once this one melts, that'll be the last one for now. So these are some of the glitter ones. These were done with crayons, and I have a video on that online here, so you can go down in my um, playlist and see the crayon ones, okay? Um... Yeah, these were crayons. And these were the glitter sticks. And these are just the regular wax. I was just playing with different colors and things. But um, I might make a batch of them and then use them just in my projects. You've seen me, all seen me use them in my projects. So yeah, you can um, have fun. You can do packages. Excuse me. You can do packages. You can do um, napkins. You can do um, envelopes. Um, you can add flowers, uh, sequins, beads, gold leaf. There's some gold leaf paste. Let's see if it shows up on here. See that adds some contrast. I didn't have a strong um, candle in there or something. Yeah, you could put them on ribbons. Oh, that was one I just cut out the butterfly. I like that one. That's pretty. And yeah, I might take my um, silver pen to that one. Yep, 
Yeah, so I'll have a playlist and I'll put some other wax seal ones in that I did. And if you have any questions, you know, just be sure to post it in the comments. And I'll be happy to feature it or show you more. See, that really picks it up. Okay. Well, uh, this will be our last hurrah. Not a good combination, I'm sorry. But see, you were doing like little awards for somebody. You could get ribbons or whatever color their project was that they were getting an award for. Pour your wax on some ribbon. Clean that right away. And then um let's let's put a heart on there. Let's find the heart. And then you just you know keeping them cold that really helps. And this is just a heart. And these just play with, you know, just put more wax on them so they get bigger and then they can match your decor. And I just always test just by touching the bottoms. So I hope those tips, tricks, and hacks are going to be helpful to you. I want to see all your um, wax seal items. So I think this is ready. So I'm just going to gently lift it. There you have it. Let's put some gilding, gilder's paste on this one, see if it takes it. Probably if I used a brush. Well, that's nice. So this can go on a book or you can give this to somebody on a package. I've also used um, silver ink from my ink pad with a brush. So there you have it, my friends. I hope you liked the little um, treasures that we made today. And I hope that you will go and um, make some little um, wax seal projects. Have a beautiful day. Bye now.